going on guys? It's Brokeem here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial, just like I said in my bowling arsenal video. Uh, it, my resurfacing did work, and I, I asked my pro shop guy about it, and he said I did it perfectly fine. That it was, the, it was one of the most common ways that people resurface their bowling balls, and that's the way he does it. So, I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys, for, for the ones who don't know how to resurface a bowling ball. I will show you how to how to do that exactly. So, hope you guys enjoy. So, uh, welcome to my pro shop, which is literally my garage. But uh, so here, let me move all this all this junk out the way. So uh, here's my setup. I got my bowling ball spinner. Got a trash bag taped up to the wall. Got a bowling trophy right there, so I can cover up the sides. And I got this little metal thing. So yeah, uh, the reason why you need all this is because as you can see, uh, some of the stuff goes everywhere. So uh, I do recommend using an apron or clothes you really don't care about. Um, well, I mean, I don't have an apron, so and I care all about my clothes, so I gotta be extremely careful about for the, about this. So uh, yeah, we are gonna resurface. Let's see, what are we gonna resurface? Something I'm not gonna use. We are gonna resurface the Daredevil Danger. I don't use this ball anymore. Uh, I just don't. All right, let's start off with, you need one of these. Uh, it's one of these sprays. See, it just sprays water. As you can see, I am out of water, but that means I'll just go fill it up. Now that this, thing is filled up. I can squirt it better. Alright. Now the next step you need to have for resurfacing bowling balls is sanding pads. I recommend from 360 to 4000. Abrolon pads. There you go. Alright, cool. Um, next you need ball cleaner. This is really, 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 really important. Uh, I'm just using this one I just found. Uh, I stopped using it a couple years ago, but I need to bring it back soon. And of course, your bowling ball and your spinner. Because without a spinner, you literally can't resurface any bowling ball. Alright, so let's get let's get started with this. We are ready to start off. So, what you want to do is plug in your spinner. See? It's on. Alright. Now, we are going to start off. Well, this is how I start off. I always start off through the ball, like the ball brand, like the name. So mine obviously says Daredevil Danger. So this is the one I'm going to start off with. So now what you need is you got to pull up any electronic device. You can find it on Storm Bowling or literally just literally look up. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. but Or literally just look up how to steps to resurfacing a bowling ball. And if it says Storm Bowling, then this is the one you need. This is the one I use. Now... The Daredevil, the Daredevil Danger, I believe it comes in a 1500 grit polished, so let me double check that for you guys. So yeah, uh, this ball is 1500 grit polished, which means you scroll all the way on the bottom, and you find 1500 grit polished, with, with the spinner of course. And what you need, a 500 sanding pad, a 1000, a 2000, and a 4000. So these are the four sanding pads you will need to make this 1500 grit polished. So now, what you want to do is you grab the first pad, which is the 500, and then you want to soak it up with water a lot. See that? It's soaked. You need it. So you have to squirt all that. Now, what you do now is you just basically sand it for 30 seconds. You always want to spray the ball every two seconds, so Keeping the, the ball watered is very, very, very important. Alright, now that it's sanded for 30 seconds, oh, it's spilling water, but it's okay. Uh, here you go. You grab a towel. Well, mostly a clean towel. That one has a little bit of polish in it. So you grab a clean towel. Now, what you want to do is just uh, just 
dry it up like this. Dry it up. Clean the spinner, turn it off. Now it's at 500 grit polish on one side. So now what you want to do is turn over the ball 180 degrees. Line it up. Turn it on. Same process. Now, now this is where you start doing the. Now, what you do from here is you don't uh, flip it 180 degrees. Now, what you want to do is you want to flip it 90 degrees. So, what you do is basically, you know, just turn it like this. So, uh, you'll probably see online. You can't see it, but uh, you're you're gonna see online of like the watermark from the cup right here. So, ju you just want to flip it 90 degrees. And then same process. It's only for a 1500 grit polished, but if you do want to see uh, like the other grits, then leave a comment down below and I'll gladly uh, show you guys how to do it. Now, your bowling ball is now a 500 grit. Yes, now, uh, congratulations, you did the first step. Now, you grab the other pad that's next, the 1000 grit, and then you clearly follow the instructions, and it says for 20 seconds, 1000 grit. So for 1000, 2000, and 4000, you wanna do 20 seconds with uh, light pressure. All right, now your balls have 500 grit and 1,000 grit. Now, time for the next step, which is 2,000 grit. Where is the 2,000 grit pad? Uh, ah, here it is. All right, now your balls have 500, 1,000, and 2,000. Now for the final, well, last, second to last step, 4,000. Let's do this. <laughs> now, your bowling ball is currently at 500, 1,000, 2,000 and 4,000. Now time for the final step. And in the steps, it says to use storm step two. Uh, I use this for every ball. So uh, it's basically like a polish. It says finishing compound, 320 to 1500 grit. So uh, yeah, direction, shake well. I'm shaking it. And then, and then it says, Apply with a clean damp cloth, work in small areas, use light use light pressure to spread so you have to spread it around. And then increase pressure into ball surface. And then as compound begins to dry, reduce pressure to evenly smooth surface to high luster. Works better with the high speed ball spinner. Now, 
What you do is you grab, I, I'll, I grab my polished rag. As you can see, that is all polished, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so what I do is I just spread it on the towel like this, so. And it's 15 seconds. So uh, really, all you do is spread it around like that. Lightly, that's what it said. Spread it, spread it, and spread it. Spread it, spread it, spread it. And boom. Now, turn it on. And then just go for it. Oh, now, this is what I do. Uh, I, I take a, another towel, turn it on, and then put two hands on it until you feel like a little burn. Once it starts feeling warm, just light, just bring it down, bring it back, bring it down, bring it back, so the polish can go more into the ball. Alright. Yeah, there's a bit of a shine on there. All right, now that your ball's all shined up, uh, take a cleaner, turn it on again. You just wanna clean it. I do five sprays, then just clean it up. All right. There's your completely resurfaced bowling ball, people. As you can see, it looks nice. It's nice and tacky. It's very nice. Let me let me bring it inside so, so you guys can see it better. All right, look, look. You can even see the light on that. Look, it's so nice and shiny. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys this actually helped you guys. Uh, if you want to see more, or if you want to see the other ones like two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, even one thousand grit. Uh, this was 1500 grit polished, and as you can see, it is clearly polished, and it's very nice. Uh, but yeah, oh, also, uh, if you get like some of that polished stuff inside the, the hole and all that in here, just, uh, just get a rag and just go inside the hole, and then just clean it up. And you should be fine. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.